Hey everyone, Michael here with Film Bodega, and in this video, I'm gonna teach you about video overlays. Now, what these are are video elements that you lay on top of other video clips. They could be light leaks, dust, fog, all sorts of visual effects that you add to your clip and composite them to make it look like they were in the shot. It gives an atmosphere to the shot and makes it feel more lived in realistic. They can also take something that's a little boring and give it more of a cinematic atmosphere. Things like lower thirds and animated titles and even hand-drawn elements, they're not really considered overlays. Those are more motion graphics. What we're specifically talking about are the type of video elements you composite into a shot to make it look like they're actually there with your subject. This is one of the easiest ways for you to introduce yourself to creating visual effects. And I'm not talking about like crazy CG things. I'm just talking about nice, subtle atmospheres. Now, Todd and I have shot hundreds and hundreds of video overlays over the years, many that we've used in commercials and videos and all sorts of projects. We even have hundreds of them that you can download for free and a couple in the store that you can download in 6K. I'll leave links to all that below. Now, most of these video elements are shot in a dark studio and only the elements themselves are lit. The idea is the more black background you have, the easier it is for you to use a blend mode to composite these effects. Now, blend modes aren't restricted to just video, I actually learned how to use them in Photoshop, but it's taking those same fundamentals and applying them in new ways. And once your images are moving, you can really start to see elements themselves move along with your character and it creates a really stunning, realistic look. This same effect can be achieved in almost any editing app. Now, if you want to use these in Premiere Pro, all you do is you drag your overlay on top of your clip and then in the effects control panel, I want you to go to opacity and then you'll see the blend modes. Now, most of the time you're gonna use screen. Screen takes all of the black pixels and makes them transparent. So now what you're left with is just the floating elements themselves. In Final Cut Pro, you just go into your inspector, open the composite tab, and you'll find the blend modes. Almost same exact place in Resolve. In your video settings, go down to composite and you'll see a drop down menu with all of the blend modes available. These are elements we use all the time and as you get more comfortable using them, you can start layering multiple clips together, using masks, changing color and creating even crazier looks. Now where these video elements really shine are in compositing apps, After Effects, Nuke, Fusion. There you can create even more in-depth composites and track your footage and create all sorts of different looks. But the best way to learn is to actually use them yourself. So I'm gonna to put together a list of hundreds of free video elements that Todd and I have made over the years. I'll include links to light leaks, light rays, ice effects, snow, dust, fog, lens flares, a bunch of other ones I can't think of, but a lot of them. I'm gonna to link to a ton of them down below. So go download them, play with them, and just remember, bring them into your project, change the blend mode, and you're good to go.